Hello everyone, welcome back to the lecture series of Matplotlib and today we will be talking about histograms. So first and foremost, in order to create a histogram, we need a continuous variable. Histograms can be used for discrete variables as well, but most often they are used for continuous variables. Also histograms are univariate. That means we need only one variable to plot a histogram. A histogram is basically what it does, it groups the data into different uh, categories and then count the observations falling within each category. And with uh, we call those categories, we call them bins. And it shows the frequency, it shows the frequency of the frequency of each categories using the height of the corresponding bar. Histograms are also known as frequency distribution plots. And it is a very common practice to use histograms to check how your values are distributed. So we have imported pandas, we have imported numpy, and this is the way we import matplotlib, import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. Then I'm going to use the 538 style, and we, we will be working on this data set too. We will be drawing histograms on hours and scores as well. Now, first of all, we are going to create a sample histogram on this data. So how you can create a histogram? So basically, in order to create a histogram, you just need to call the plt.hist function, plt.hist, and then you pass your sample. And then we call plt.show. So here is my histogram. So as you can see, there are no access labels. There are no, there is no title to the graph and you cannot see how many bins are there. You cannot see how many bins are there. So let's customize this plot. So first of all, I'm going to label the axis. So how we label the X axis, plt dot X label, uh, ages, plt dot Y label, uh, let's say number of samples and plt dot title, I'm going to give age distribution, age distribution. Then I'm going to hit run. So this is my histogram. So now the axes are labeled, we have a title too, but still we cannot see the number of bins. We cannot clearly see where the bins are going. So if you want to see the boundaries, the edges of your bin, what you can do is just copy paste it. What you can do is you can mention edge color. Edge color equals to let's say uh, black. K stands for black. Also, if you do not want to write, if you do not want to write the edge color, you can also pass, you can also pass EC. EC is the abbreviation for edge color. So as you can see, now we can, we can count the number of bins. So how many bins are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So by default, matplotlib provides 10 bins in histogram, but you can change the bins accordingly. Let's say you want only five bins. Let's say you want only five bins instead of 10. So you can just pass bins equals to five. Bins equals to five. So what is the drawback of uh, providing an integer to the number of bins we want? So basically we cannot see from where the bins are starting and where like we cannot see the starting value and the end value for each, each bin. So this is the drawback for using integer values as a number of bins. So what we can do to overcome it? So what we can do is basically, we can just pass a list of bins that we want. Let's say I want uh, 10 to 20, then 30, 40, 50, and 60. So what is going to happen is that there will be bins like 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 50 to 60, and that way the histogram will be created and the edges will, will have a starting value, a proper starting value and a proper ending value. So as you can see, now we can see if the starting value is 10 and if the ending value is 20, then 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50 and 50 to 60. And with this small visualization, we can see in this list, in this list, the list which I have provided, in this particular list with this small visualization, I can see there are many people, 
with age between 20 to 30 with age between 20 to 30 you can pass any number of bills you want let's say you don't want people you don't want people with age less than 20 so you, you you don't need to pass 10 you can start a bench with 20 and it will exclude the data with less than 20. so as you can see there are no ages below 10 so that way you can actually exclude the data which you don't want you can actually exclude the data which you don't want so now let's focus on the data set that i have uploaded scores dot head so this is the data set so what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, create a proper histogram for number of hours in the data set. So let's just create a proper histogram. So plt dot hist and I'm going to pass scores hours and then I'm going to pass ec equals to k, ec equals to k. So and then plt dot x label hours, plt dot y label that is number of samples or let's say number of student uh, let, let it be number of samples only and then plt dot show um key error so okay there it is capital so as you can see here is my histogram so you can see the default color of matplotlib is blue so what I do with colors, I don't actually use the name of the colors. I actually use the hex color values of a color and they provide a lot of flexibility. So what website I use for providing hex color values is this website. I will provide the link of the Jupyter Notebook as well as the data set as well as the web link to this website in the description. And this way I can actually get any color I want and I have more flexibility over colors. So let's say I want this color. So I click over it and then I get the hex value and I copy it and I paste this color equals to this. So I have this and instead of using this hex color value, I'm going to use a light color. I'm going to use a light color. Let's say this one. I'm going to use a light color color and this. I'm going I'm going to make this darker color as the edge color. So as you can see, this is a very neat histogram, neat histogram with a simple and sober colors. So I always follow uh, hex values and you can always go and visit the website for the hex color values. So let's say now how to fix again this issue that the non overlapping values. So there is another way which we can use to resolve this issue with the help of numpy so what we can do numpy provides a histogram function np dot histogram so this function accepts a value that is number of values or a sequence of values so my values are scores then hours and 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 then it accepts the number of bins you want let's say i want bins i want number of bins equals to 10. then it returned two values first array contains the count of the observation and second array contains the bin edges second array contain the bin edges that is what we want the edges of the bins so what we can do we can create two variables count bin underscore edges so the count will store in this variable and the bin edges will be stored in this variable so i'm going to copy this part and how we can adjust the bin edges plt dot x -tex. The values which are visible on the x axis, 2, 4, 6, these are called x tex. And the values which are visible on the y axis, 0, 1, 2, these are called the y tex. So we need to adjust bin edges. Name error. Okay. It's not bin edges. So as you can see, the values 1.1, 1.95, 2.80, 3.65. And the values are proper at the starting point of the edges and the ending point. And also you can adjust number of bins according to yourself. Let's say I want five bins. And then I just mentioned five and then I rerun this. And then over here, I, I have to mention that I want five bins. So I have five bins now. So 1.1 hour to one, between 1.1 hour and 2.8 hours. 
for 2.8 between 4.5 4.5 and 6.2 6.2 and 7.9 and 9.6 so that way we can create histograms also let's say i typically want to create a histogram without using numpy uh, by using the uh, list uh, list pattern by providing a sequence of list so i'm going to copy this code i'm going to copy this code and i'm going to remove this so instead of using the integer values i'm going to use the sequence values bins equals to uh, let's say i want 1 2 3 1 3 5 7 9 so that is uh, 9 and 11 so i need a bin with gaps of 2 so i create a histogram so that way I have values accordingly, but still my values are non-overlapping. So that way we can sometimes NumPy histogram provides a better way to actually handle the X text of your values. So I'm going to remove this one. Uh, now let's say you want to highlight some values. You want to highlight some values. Let's say I want to mention the average number of hours in my histogram. So you can do that. How you can do that, you need to calculate the average number of hours first. Let's say uh, how you calculate. So you need exclude the number of hours and then dot mean. This is the average value. So let's store hour underscore mean. And then I want to plot this value on my histogram. I want to plot this value on my histogram. So how do I plot this value on my histogram? Uh, I simply pass plt dot axis vertical lines axis vertical lines and then I pass our underscore mean and then I pass a label equals to average hour and then I pass a color color going I'm going to choose color again from the hex color codes and then I'm going to use this color And, and then I'm going to put up a legend, plt dot legend. Okay, matplotlib as axv line. Okay, so the code was axv line, not line. So as you see, this uh, vertical line actually is showing the average number of hours. You can also control the width of this line by mentioning line width is equals to one. So now the line is pretty much thin. So that way you can control the number of hours as you want, as you prefer. So uh, I guess uh, we almost covered everything in histograms. Also, one more thing, you can also control the transparency of your histogram, like how much transparent and how much opaque you want your histogram to be. So we can do that with alpha parameter, zero being the most transparent, proper transparent and one being opaque. So I want a 80% transparency. So as you can see, it's kind of light now. So that way you can also control the transparency of your histograms. So that's it for the video. Please do share, like, and subscribe to my channel. And in the next tutorial, we'll be covering bar charts. So please stay tuned and stay safe. Thank you so much.